welcome back to Wind and Wander. Hopefully you already know us by now, but if you're new, I'm Cheyenne. I'm Cody. And we are actually on a side quest from our usual cruise adventures today. What are we doing? We are whitewater rafting oh, on the so American exciting. River. Yes. And in fact, you can even see one of the cars coming down the way right there. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, so we are going to be whitewater rafting on the American River, the Middle Fork specifically today. So I'm sure there's going to be tons of fun, lots of water, lots of splash, maybe going overboard. No, 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 no. We don't, you don't want that. It's just class four rapids. You're crazy. Yeah. It is class three to four rapids. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what What's happens. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not doing that, but we'll give more information on the... Uh, no, it's not an excursion. I've got to get that out of my brain. Uh, <laughs> the adventure at lunch today, because we'll have more time to sit down and talk about it. But right now, we got to get prepped to get in the water. Yeah, they are about to hand everything out right now. So we're going to go get ready and dive in. So come wind and water with us through the American River as we go whitewater rafting. Ready, ready. <laughs> This drive beforehand changed from 20 minutes to 30 minutes to 45 yeah. minutes. <laughs> so I, it, it was, it's been like 30 or 35 really, minutes. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that long, especially because they give you the instructions and everything in the car, so it went by pretty quickly. <laughs> the water is not 78 degrees like Caitlin thought. <laughs> Caitlin, how, how cold is the river? 78. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> It's like 43, Listen, what would they say? 54. 54, excuse me, 54. So, you know, 78 to 54. You know what, do you want to see this website? <laughs> do you have service out here? Uh, I do not. Yeah. Is it like 86 degrees out today? Not too bad. Feels yeah. pretty warm. I guess yeah, like with like our, you know, layers and our... Yeah, our, long sleeve. Yeah, long sleeves. Feels yeah. pretty warm. Make sure you put on your sunscreen, kids. But not on your forehead. Not on your forehead. Or behind yeah. your legs. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Wrapped in on any tight muscles. Looks stupid with this fanny pack, but it's essential. It's got all the batteries in it. Yeah, we do have these handy waterproof bags. 41, and that's us. Head that's no us? Oh, yeah. oh, all right, here we go. Loose that. All right, yep, we've got the adjustable helmets, the easy to adjust helmets, so that's nice. Hopefully, let's we'll see. Oh. On the old noggin. <laughs> got the not life jacket. What what do they call them again? A uh, PFD. PFDs. Personal flotation device. device. <laughs> Personal flotation <laughs> device. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? You, you said, I don't even know what you said. I said PFD. Personal deflated. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deflated. Yeah, you don't want to be deflated. Huh? <laughs> Personal deflatable. No. Uh, what is it? PFD. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Personal flotation no, device. No, PFD. Yeah. <laughs> PDF document. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be printing some PDFs. <laughs> How do I look? Cool? You look so cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come to the center. Oh, it's, it's turning. It's turning. You're good. It's turning. We're at a short break. Class 4 plus just happened. That was intense. A lot of people flipped. Not for the fan of heart. Oh my god. A little break right now. That was intense. Yeah, I didn't hear you go in. I didn't hear anything. I was just focused on continuing paddling. I thought, sure, if I went in, I would have a sense that, uh oh, I'm going in. I didn't. I was here, and then I was like, that
jump out. We are how the water is moving. lunch break we just did a bathroom break so they do have bathrooms they the have composting break. bathrooms let's yeah, establish a, this it is quite the smell yeah <laughs> we've gone over three out of the six uh class four rapids and let me specify shannon and i 
have never whitewater rafted before <laughs> in our lives. This is a lot of fun, but it is very intense. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit lighter and not as crazy, make sure you're not doing a class four rapids. <laughs> uh, I would say one, two, and three is a good way to start. Great when they start. say adventurous beginners, they mean adventurous yes. beginners. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we survived the class four plus, but a raft did not. I don't think I caught that. It was just chaos at that moment. So chaotic. And oh then my everyone God. just starts grabbing the people that are out of the rafts and just throwing them into your own raft. <laughs> well, it's not pretty, but you know, raps. Mine's uglier than yours. You're about to spill uh, honey mustard out the back. <laughs> Quick little energy break before we fall back in the water again. <laughs> Not gonna fall anymore. Yeah. One and done. <laughs> All right, so they served us lunch right there. Granted, they could serve it anywhere where there's shade. Yeah, It'll change. It's kind of like each raft or rafting company sets up their own. <laughs> Okay, sorry. What were you saying? That's all I got attacked. <laughs> I was saying each raft or rafting company kind of sets up their own areas for lunch, and then you go make your wrap, or at least that's what it was for us. I didn't actually see if, like what else the other companies did, but we got wraps. They were delicious, and they even made us cookies. Haven't had one yet. Mm -hmm. May need to go grab one. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice little lunch break. Back there with Steve. I mean, here. I thought she was up here the whole time. Oh no. I'm on the next one. Let's go forward. It is? Yeah. And stop. Okay, here I'm gonna tell you forward and hold on, okay? Be ready. Ready? 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 Let's go forward. Yes, the 
rapid the last class four of the day <clears throat> we call this one texas chainsaw massacre oh, God. Can, yeah. can we sit in the bottom again <laughs> <laughs> so this rapid has uh, has a name because all the water is pushing to the left and on the left there's a, a rock that is a, an undercut so if we go yeah. sideways right there we're gonna smash the people from the left side so to avoid that i'm gonna tell you left back so we can spin the boat and hit the rock with the front of the boat. Set forward. And stop. Okay, team, ready? Yep. Walk your feet. All right. Be ready. Okay, forward, come on. Fiesta, fiesta, we yeah. made it! Yeah. <laughs> Eight, 10% left. We're done. We finished. We did we it. it. We're 
we're bored and we're getting back in the van. We will debrief in a once bit. Once we're once back we, at the cabin. Yeah, back yeah. at the cabin and we can kind of get our thoughts together. Relax and yes, and gather our thoughts because whew, that was crazy, <laughs> but so fun. Oh my goodness. I had a blast. I don't know about everyone else, but I had a blast. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's, it's up and going. It is. <laughs> Whew. Oh man. Hello everyone. All right, we are back. As you can see, we are nice and showered and relaxing. And we're gonna we do yes, as you can see, we survived, obviously. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a quick review so you can just kind of get our thoughts on what we how we felt about this experience and just a little bit more information about what it was that we just did. We booked through American Whitewater Expeditions. They, I think you were really the one that looked into it. I think we just felt that they had really great reviews, really great safety ratings. Yeah, they've been operating for 34 years and have never had a fatality. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was important to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was important to anyone. <laughs> so uh, they just look like a great company, which now having been with them, I would, I would agree, they were amazing. We They had a number of options that we could book uh, between the North Fork, South Fork, and Middle Fork of the American River, which is more like central to Northern California or so. Uh, we did the Middle Fork because that one had the most like intermediate rapids class three to four which we felt was going to be you know a very adventurous but you know obviously not the four to five craziness where you know probably need to have a little more experience yeah. it was definitely for adventurous beginners they advertise it as for those who you know had some rafting experience or for adventurous beginners would highly agree that it is for adventurous beginners. 100%, <laughs> yeah. But it was still a lot of fun. Uh, the pricing that we did, it was 140 per person. However, I will say the pricing does vary depending on when you book it. Uh, that was a midweek price, even though we went on a Friday, they considered that midweek. I think weekends can get up to 175 per person. And that was for a six hour trip. That was actually one of the longer trips that they had for the day trips, because they do have half day trips, full day trips, and then multi-day trips. Yeah. So we felt this was just a good, like in the middle, not a half day, but you know, not a multi-day. It was not the beginner rapids, not the advanced rapids. It was a nice like middle ground between everything. American Whitewater Expedition specifically, uh, they have different, uh, Abilities for you to get there in the sense of there are hotels nearby mm -hmm. from your meeting spot or they do have a camping package that you can purchase mm -hmm. if you would like so they have campgrounds that aren't at the rafting location they're a little ways away from where you meet uh, but you can camp at their campsite for the day and then in the morning they shuttle you over to where uh, you will pick up your van to then go to your meeting point so if you happen to not live in the area, which we didn't, we just have family that lives in the area. Um, you can camp if you want and then go rafting, or you can stay in a hotel and then go rafting. So it's up to you, really. Again, drove there, met in Auburn technically, and then from there set off from a rallies where you know everyone's meeting in behind the rallies, which sounds a little sketchy, but it wasn't. It was it was nice, it was yeah. great. <laughs> and then from there we drove what like 30? 30 yeah, 30 ish minutes or so to the site. It was definitely a little windy, so I'd say prepare for windiness if need be. Yep. Um, and then also, you know, if, if you would potentially get motion sickness on a whitewater raft, I have no idea, but maybe prepare for it just in case. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so when you start out on your rafting trip, uh, in case any of you have never gone whitewater rafting, like my, Cheyenne and myself, um, we didn't know what to do, but they, your instructors do an amazing job mm -hmm. of being able to break down when to paddle, how to paddle, the best techniques for paddling. If you fall out of the boat, if someone else falls out of the boat, they cover all the necessary safety instructions and how to's if you've never whitewater rafted before. So the instructors are amazing at really breaking you down on everything that you need to know. It can be a little bit overwhelming and in all honesty, it may take you a couple of rapids to understand what they're talking about, but you will get it. Um, don't be afraid if you've never done rafting before. This is something that you can do. They do a great job at being able to explain all the necessary uh, safety precautions and just knowledgeable things that you need in order to succeed at your rafting adventure day. And one thing I will say that at least kind of surprised me about it is that you do need to kind of be able to like rock 
scramble, like maybe not necessarily like boulder per mm. se, but you do need to be able to like climb easily because yes. at least for this particular portion of like of the American River, the Middle Fork, because they do have you, as you probably saw, get out of the raft, climb over all of these rocks and then get back down because we are actually avoiding class five rapids Thank God. that yes <laughs> that we obviously did not go down because uh, we didn't sign up for that <laughs> no, no so that, that would have been way <laughs> too intense yeah yeah so that's just one thing i want to throw out to be prepared for because we had some members in our party who you know it was a, a little difficult for them to be able to navigate all of the rocks yeah. so uh just something to prepare for so shan i want to know what was your breakdown of this trip? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I loved it. Spilled so I am a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. So I had an absolute blast on everything, even though I will say I was expecting some sort like a little bit of craziness. I didn't think it was gonna be that intense. It was pretty intense for what I had been expecting, but I loved that. I, again, a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, so I had a fun time, would absolutely 100% do it again. How about you, how'd you feel? Yeah, so it was not what I expected at all. <laughs> now, Shine is obviously a bigger adrenaline junkie than myself. I love doing new things. I love trying out adventure uh, type of things, and I absolutely love this. This was fantastic. Would I do it again? Yes. However, it took me by surprise. <laughs> there, Watching videos of people go down class four rapids and then experiencing class four rapids are two completely different it things. Oh um, even the videos that everyone has already seen, it looks like a little <laughs> merry-go-round ride in, uh, as opposed to what it actually felt like. You, you need to be physically able, like you need to, don't have any bad injuries going into this. You must know how to swim mm -hmm. um, and you need to be able to remain calm in mm -hmm. uh, intense situations because if you get thrown from the raft, you need to be able to think. You need to be able to understand the instructions that are being yelled to you or the instructions that were already said to you and you need to be able to execute them. For me also, I, I got a little bit nervous just because like my mom went on the trip and uh, we had our friend Nancy go on the trip and they were very, very nervous about doing this expedition and we were very much like, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. It was much more intense and than what we were expecting and I felt bad about that. Um, they, 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 they did great, they had a good time. However, I don't know if they're gonna be doing that again. So just know, if you sign up for anything that says class four rapids, it's intense. It may not look that intense on our videos or any other YouTube videos that you watch, but it is intense when you're in that uh, raft and you're, you're about to go down those rapids. Um, we definitely saw a kid get hurt. Yeah, it did happen very quick, but yeah, there was definitely injuries on our trip. Yeah. Um, as you saw, multiple people got thrown from the raft, no. myself included, yeah. with unintentional... Yeah, we had a 50% um, <laughs> rating on our raft of people that got thrown from rapids yeah. and not. I didn't get thrown from rapids, but in all honesty, I just got lucky, let's be completely honest. Like if we were to do the rafting trip again, there's no guarantee that I would not get thrown from the rapids or from the, the raft. So I absolutely loved it. I would do it again. However, um, I wouldn't, I know who to bring and who not to bring onto this trip. I, if you are looking to experience rapids, it's your first time and you're kind of nervous, look for something that is uh, level three or lower. Don't go to level four yet, please. If okay. you're nervous, yeah, yeah if, keep if it to are, three. <laughs> if you're nervous, um, please keep it to a three. I think that would be an excellent introduction for you to get prepped and ready if you want to try and challenge yourself with a class four rapid. We got as high as a class four plus, and that was the very first rapid that we went down. The first rapid. So well, it was a we did have swim one, a class three beforehand yeah. that was pretty tame, yeah. and then the class four, four plus, which, which yeah, was starting the most out intense rapid of the day. <laughs> That, I absolutely love that the instructors are very knowledgeable on the river. They know what to do, what not to do, and more importantly, if an uh, emergency situation arises, they're very calm under pressure and know how to execute and help the people that are in need. Yeah, and so. some of them are trained as EMTs yes. too. That was really cool. So our shout guide, out to our rafting guide, Yuri. Yeah, yeah, our guide, Yuri, was actually trained as an EMT, so yeah. that was pretty cool. I think he was the only one though, so it, you never know who you're Yeah, you don't know who, yeah, it's, yeah. it's very popular. But I think it, it's good because, you know, you've got a large group of them. I feel like it's the, the possibility of having at least one yeah. who's been trained in that. Yeah. Maybe high. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One last piece of advice that I will impart on you all. 
wear pants that <laughs> you will not lose. That's actually an excellent piece of advice. <laughs> Maybe for the, the women out there, uh, utilize a one-piece bathing suit underneath yes. your your <laughs> like shorts or pants or whatever you want to utilize just because... Um, you may lose them. Yeah, you may you, lose your pants. As uh, I can tell you from personal experience, yeah. you may lose your pants and <laughs> as you're being thrown from the raft. Yeah. So uh, wear pants where you can tighten them, wear something like a one piece under them, just something where you won't be exposed Exposed to, <laughs> luckily we had no one behind us, yeah. thank goodness. But uh, yeah, we're, there was a full moon out uh, during our, our trip, yep. you say that? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Thanks video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you had fun on our Wind and Wander side quest adventure. Yeah. And also, please, if you are having fun watching all of our videos, and these, whether it's these side quests or our cruise videos, please give us a like, subscribe, and turn on your alerts. We would much, much appreciate it so that we can keep bringing these videos to you. And hopefully you're just having a good time watching because yeah, we're yeah. having a good time making them. Yeah, and then you can see us almost drowning instead of you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, but thank you so much again for watching. Uh, and I think that's going to about do it for us yeah. for today, yeah? Yeah, thanks everyone. All right, See bye. you again soon.